Los Angeles city leaders are planning to house dozens of homeless people in trailers on a city-owned downtown lot as a possible model for citywide temporary shelters. A proposal calls for installing five trailers on a parking lot at Arcadia and Alameda streets by the beginning of summer. The trailers would house about 67 people and target the homeless who sleep on the sidewalks in the area around the historic El Pueblo site off of Main Street. The shelter would operate for three years with the hope that residents placed there would move on to permanent housing within six months. If approved by the city council, the initiative to provide temporary shelter would mark a new strategy for the city, which has focused primarily on encouraging the construction of permanent housing through $1.2 billion in voter-approved bonds. Garcetti said he hopes temporary housing can be placed on other city properties throughout Los Angeles to help serve the estimated 25,000 people who live on the streets. The city is also looking at proposed regulations to use existing hotels and motels for supportive housing and or transitional housing. The city council also approved four immigration proposals, sending the Trump administration a clear signal that the city stands with its immigrant populations. The items approved include legal action due to the administration's decision to end DACA, support for the TPS program, support for the state's border wall legislation, and a new program that provides letters of representation for undocumented Angelinos as additional protection against ICE enforcement. The Bureau of Street Services repaved portions of 6th Street between La Brea and Fairfax Avenues in advance of planned roadway improvements. Councilmember David Ruzoff office said some of those improvements will include the installation of left-hand turn pockets, continental crosswalks, the extension of the single eastbound traffic lane from Fairfax Avenue to Curson Avenue, and the extension of red curbs to increase visibility for north and southbound traffic. Further improvements have not yet been scheduled, but will be coming to that portion of 6th Street this year.